and you are looking at the sprawling Kalaokan Sports Complex here in Kalaokan City. We hope to bring you great action and bring you to the edge of your seats as we are at the edge of the metro here in Kalaokan City. Three games today in Day 14 of the OK Bet 2022 Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. We have Jensen and Rizal looking to get it out for their first win in our first game. And in the second game, Nueva Ecija looks to stay immaculate at 3 and 0 going up against Makati Manila Kingpin. And in our main game, Laguna will be going up against Kalaokan Excellence, our home team. Good, evening, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Happy Palayan. Bringing you the action is Coach Christian Luanz. And Coach, both teams looking to get their first win today. How is this going to pan out? No, the only difference is one team played three times already. And um, I, I thought uh, Jensen in their last game had a good chance of winning against Powerhouse Nueva Ecija, while the other team is still in the what I call the Ariel Rivera stage. You know, getting to know each other. <laughs> you know? But gotta love him. <laughs> I mean, and uh, but I like this team. The composition of the talking about Nizal. They got a young coach and Coach Jonathan Banal, obviously the son of uh, Coach Koy Banal, former teammate slash coach of mine. Si coach Koy pati yung anak, and I like the dynamic of his team. They're young. They have young, uh, young talent and some vets as well. That's right. So. We will be looking to uh, get these guys to, to, to get their first win in the first match today. And for, But before that, we would like to introduce a third member of our broadcast panel, Ms. Sheila Salisa. Yes, hi, Javi and Coach Christian. Gusto ko yung getting to know, Coach. Ha? Pero itong dalawang teams na to, they said they came in prepared for today's game, still looking for their first win. We'll see. I'll tell you more about them, Mamaya. Thank you so much for that. We'll be hearing more from Sheila from the sidelines as we'll be doing courtside duty for today's game. But uh, we have in our first match, Jensan OK Bet going up against Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers. Both teams, as we said earlier, looking to get their first victory dito sa regular season. You're looking at Real Cervantes, the former FEU Tamarao, debuting today for Jensan. And sa kabilang panic naman, one of the debuting players for Rizal is Jolo Mendoza, the newly graduated Adeneo Blue Eagle. Well, nabangit nga natin itong Rizal, composed of uh, some experienced players, no? Benitez, their big guy, stretch five, one of the few stretch fives we have in the league, stretch four, marami tayo. Jolo Mendoza, outside sniper, obviously the experience from the Blue Eaglets all the way up to the seniors, will forego his final year. Thank God, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> And they have a couple of young guns also. You know, in their last game, they have Victoria who played well, which we will discuss later. And uh, before that, before we discuss the result, let's go on first to Jensen. In their previous game, lost a close one to Nueva Ecija. Jensen has been uh, losing a lot of close games, looking for that elusive first win. Well, this team, I've always believed, you know, in, in, in the Coach Marlon system from Pasay and, and the Gen I think it's just a matter of time where in the result will favor they play because they play the right way, they play hard. You know, he has his core players. You look at the numbers right here. This game was closer than the final score, although they were dominated on the categories that you see. You know, I think what's crucial to me is their shot selection, you know. Knocking down shots and at the same time finding the open looks because in that game against Nueva Ecija, they were down early but came back in that third quarter. But medyo na overwhelmed lang sila with the depth, depth and speed of uh, Nueva Ecija. Yeah, they were able to pull away in the fourth. So, titignan natin if that shot selection will improve in today's game. Let's talk about Rizal's last game against Sarangani where they lost in May 21. Well, you look at the numbers right here. One thing that really stands out is the turnovers. And anytime you have a young team, tulad na banggit natin, usually, normal yan. Now, kailangan nilang i-minimize yan. You know, this is a team that has some outside shooting, as we mentioned. But I expect that stat, that 30% to improve more or better in this game. And what I like about this team, considering the faces, the, the, the young faces that we see, is that not only can they run on the break and finish layups, they can have those transition threes as well. Well, let's get this show on the road, ladies and gentlemen, as we turn you over to our Coliseum announcer for the player introductions. 
Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Caloban Sports Complex for the continuation of the OK Bet Money Pacquiao's MPPL 2022 regular season presented by Extreme. Our first game for this afternoon will feature the Jensen Corners OK Bet going up against Gomez. Head coach of Jensen is Marlon Kid Martin. And now the starting five for the Rizal Golden Cooler Central Mall. Starting at point guard number 21, Keanu Cavaliero. On the guards, number one, Lawrence Victoria. At small forward number 17, Alvin Capobres. At power forward number 14, Troy Malili. And at center number 15, Lester Benitez. Head coach of Rizal is Jonathan Bonal. Our referees for this game, Edmar Avis, Daniel De La Cruz, Alan Manzano, Portman, Jovin Ekpomnia. And here this are the starters for today's first game, day 14 of our 2022 MPBL regular season. Cruz, Chad, Gomez, Belenchon, Reverente on the side of the Jensen Warriors. Sa kabilang panik naman, Caballero, Victoria, Benitez, Capobres, and Troy Malili. We are moments away from tip off. Our referees for this ball game crew chief Edmar Avis, umpire one Daniel De La Cruz, umpire two Alan Manzano, and the man on the sidelines Joven Ocfembia. First quarter action is now unraveling, ladies and gentlemen. Matchup right away, Keiton Reverente, who's looking to bounce back though after struggling of shooting the ball from the outside in their last game. No, he only went. He only went for 2 for 12, finished with 7 points, but he filled the stat sheet, no? and this is, Ron, uh, this is Don Reverente's game. But if he wants to elevate his status you know, from a superstar in his role to a superstar in this league, he's going to have to shoot the ball better, and they're going to need him because he's the leader of this team. Piano Caballero at the controls for Rizal, trying to locate Victoria. Victoria had a stellar game in their first match, had 24 points to lead the Golden Cougars. Apapobres tries that jumper against Belenchon but misses. Mark Cruz with a rebound. A pick by Gomez. Cruz is momentarily open at the left corner. Six, the first jumper and the first points of this game. Oh, what a tough shot. To that was but Ant-Man really known the former NCAA champ really known to make tough shots don't let that height deceive you small but terrible Ika nga as Mark Benitez rises for the jumper that, that is long Cruz once again with the board pick and roll action on the left side Mark Cruz extricating himself from the defense misses the banker Caballero in transition for the Golden Coolers pass good cut A little casual going back on defense after their offense was Jensen. The Pobres just took advantage and sprinted from half court all the way to the free throw line for the easy deuce. Cruz to Marlon Gomez. Elvis Chan drives baseline and draws the foul. Coach, this is also one guy who's very deceiving. It was Elvis Chan, a veteran here in the MPBL, but always finds a spot in any roster in the Sating Liga. I beg to differ because Elvin Chan, what you see is what you get. Really, he takes advantage of his heft. Ang hindi mo lang nakikita pag hindi mo siya kilala is yung kanyang utak sa laro. As we uh, turn you over to uh, Ms. Sheila Salaysay for her first report. Yes, Javi, we are learning a lot. These were Coach Marlon Martin's uh, words kanina during the interview. Sabi niya, walang nasayang sa mga previous games nila kahit hindi naging pabor sa kanila ang resulta. On their fourth game against Rizal today, they came prepared with the addition of the veteran Real Cervantes. He will add firepower sa opensa at depensa. Hindi dapat maging kampante laban sa Rizal. They need to bring their A game every quarter and have the killer instinct to get their first W. Back sa Thank you so much for that, Sheila. Killer instinct, that is the key word there. As Jensen tries to go for their first victory here. Close losses they had in their first three games. But just falling short in the end. Victoria 
Rise and fire from the right corner. That's a miss. Well, one thing that always separates a good team, which Jensen is, to become a great team, is to be consistent. And when you say consistent, you cannot play in spurts. And yun yun ang yari sa kanila. You can just see that they can play with the best. You know, which Nueva Ecija is, 3-0. And, and, you know, mataas ang expectations sa team nila. As Elvin Chan misses the three. But they played in spurts in that game. You know, they would be in the game. They would, they would look like champions for like four minutes. Play like champions. And then they would look, by, look like, you know, eighth place, tenth place, a tenth place team for certain stretches. And they, they cannot do that. They got to work on being consistent the whole game. I'll get back to your point there later, coach. But welcome to the MPBL. Troy Malilin, who just got his first basket on the previous offensive for Rizal. Right, Coach, you were saying that they cannot play in spurts, but uh, I think it's just only a matter of time because this is very, very veteran-laden squad. You know, JB Belenson, Mark Cruz, Elvin Chan, Don Reverente. Seen a lot of basketball in Satic Liga. Right, and, and to me, that's that's chemistry. You know, obviously, maybe this post, I would say post-pandemic, hopefully, <laughs> has a lot to do with that. Obviously, the limitation of the team prior to the season starting was quite a challenge you know so many teams really started weeks you know, oh, uh, before the season as you see this roll right here the first basket of Malilin but and a lot of teams are just you know trying to develop that chemistry in season so I think Jensen is one of them well this is gonna be a very long season still uh, Almost 200 regular season games awaiting us until December. <laughs> so, it's gonna be a lot of basketball action in store for all you fans. It used to be 300 more. <laughs> As uh, bueno lang tayo. No. <laughs> As JP Valenzon hits the three pointer specialty of the house for the former Letran Knight. 8 to 4 is our count. Caballero. Victoria to Mark Benitez. He can hit that shot a little bit short. Reverente with the board. Easy. No transition defense. Nobody home to answer the call of Mondragon. Now that's what happens when it's a long shot early in the clock. Usually a long rebound. That's an outlet for a fast break on a three-on-one. As Capobre is trying to attack the gap. Rizal so far has been having a hard time getting baskets. Meanwhile, Itong Jensan running in transition and getting those easy opportunities, just like what Hammer Mondragon did on that sequence. Our substitutions have been made. Jolo Mendoza. Young guns. Yep. And uh, J Boy Gob from UB also deciding to forego. He's playing years in the UAEP. And right away, walk. Yep, that's the travel. Very obvious right there. And to my coaching, Eagle, palam naman yung mga opening day debut jitters. Right. I'm sure, coach, as a player, uh, ilang beses mo na naranasan to. Too many times. Kahit na matagal na naglalaro, hindi na wawala yan. <laughs> eh, especially pag bagong liga, no? Ang tanong na lang ngayon, na kapag laro pa ba? <laughs> I'm sure, coach, uh, you still like, uh, have that game inside of you. In, inside, pero outside, hindi na bang ilabas eh. <laughs> sa 40, sa 40 uh, age group na lang. <laughs> Baka may chance of <laughs> Six points ang kalamangan dito ng Jensen OK bet against the Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers. Turnover here received by Mendoza. Roadblock by Malilin. Bilin Sean tries to defend the three-pointer. Jolo Mendoza, first attempt is a miss. Jensen once again in transition. But the blue shirts, quick to get back. Bilin Sean, one-footer. That's short. Automatira talaga ng ganyan yan. And you talk about a green light dito sa Jensen. Meron siya niyan kay Coach Marlon. Manlalaro niya rin yan sa Pasay eh. Malilin misses his second three of the game. Mark Cruz, meanwhile, attempts from the outside. 
and is fouled as he landed. That will be a foul on Gob. See here that replay rising for the three and Gob just uh, didn't leave enough real estate for Cruz to land. And that's two quick fouls. Sorry, two uh, boo-boos right away uh, for J-Boy Gob. A traveling violation earlier and a defensive foul here. Three free throws for Mark Cruz. Well, one thing that you're looking for anytime you have a young team to let K coach Jonathan, those mistakes will be there, especially if it's your first game. I think what's important is my equivalent nila yon, yung kapalit on is yung energy. Kasi yun yung ano eh, yun yung aasahan mo, lalo lalo sa mga young legs. You know? um, ko, uh, especially compared sa mga kuya, di ba? So it's very important for them to have a short-term memory na yun ang kagandaan ng basketball eh. Magkakamali ka sa opensa or vice versa. Pwede mong bawiin ka agad sa kabila. And that mentality is something that you have to adapt early on whether it's your rookie season all the way up pag naging veterano ka na. Brandre Bienes in the game, former FEU Tamarao. Also one of the debuting players for Coach Jonathan Banal. First attempt is good para kay Brandre. And that's what we talked about at the top of the coverage. One for eight, ito Rizal. But they have the weapons, the players who can shoot from the outside. But I think the question is, do they have enough creators para sa mga ganong pagkakataon na tira? Well, if you're talking about creators, the Jordan Rios has checked into the game. Definitely a reliable scorer, but right. a turnover once again by Rizal. He played very well in the last invitation. I'll talk about Jordan Rios as this drive right here by number 18, Panganiban. Attacking in transition, forcing the official to make the whistle and will take a trip to the line. Panganiban played very well, especially in that second half in the last game. Was in double figures, 13 points. One of five players for Jensen in double figures in that game. And he came to life in that midway in the third quarter all the way to the first half of that fourth. Well, he's looking to pick up from where he left off from that Nueva Ecija game. Very aggressive right away. Also had five boards, four assists. Uh, but misses both charities. Charcos manning the point guard spot for Rizal. Tries to locate Gob. He does. And J-Boy is fouled. And anytime you're struggling, it's always good for a young player like J-Boy is to shoot some free throws. So let's see if he can take advantage of this and maybe settle down after. Of course, J-Boy Gob, uh, one of the standouts from the La Salle Green Hills program. That's right. And uh, was it really able to okay, make sabi, his mark? Okay, I'm going to say AJ Madrigal. Okay. Yes, AJ. A lot of Green Hills uh, players uh, went to UP. Yeah. Uh, Gob uh, makes a split at the line. 13-8 to 8 is our score. 2-24 and remaining in the first. Boy also in the game. Good pass. Sorella. That play doesn't materialize for Jensen. Tarkos on the counter. And the former perpetual help standout misses. Ingoy pushing the basketball. Panganiban finds himself open and lays it up and in. I saw Coach Tantan Banal pointing. Yeah, he knew right away, he's a point guard himself. He could see the play as it develops. At yung transition na yun, alam niya mga layup na tinuturo niya na sa mga bata niya na may malilibre sa layup. And coach, does it really make a difference being a former point guard and transitioning to being a head coach? I think so. I mean, if, historically, if you look at as you see, arguably the smallest guy on the floor make a basket underneath in Charcos. If you look at that historically, whether it's a international or local stage, ramihan mga guardsay na head coach. Eh. As you see, the fast break right here, four to nothing run by Rizal forces a timeout. 
for Jensen and kay Coach Marlon. Welcome to the MPBL, Jolo Mendoza. Great pass right there by Edgar Charcos. No looker with the former Ateneo Blue Eagle for his first score dito sa ating Liga 15 to 12. Magbabalik po tayo. And we are back here at the Caloocan Sports Complex in Caloocan City where the Jensen Warriors and the Rizal Golden Coolers are both looking to get their first victories here at the OK Bet MPBL 2022 regular season presented by Extreme Wind Stop Shop Appliances. Happy Palanya together with Coach Christian Luanzo and then Mishira Salaysay bringing you the action from port side. 15 to 12 po ang tala. Mendoza met by a double. Bienes, he hit a three earlier. Just rims out. Rios, woo, swooping rebound right there. Alascati Thompson and gets the foul. You gotta love the effort, no? Pinakita ni Jordan Rios. But anytime you get a good shot, Abby, to let ni Bienes, no? Who almost made his second three. It was wide open. It sends a signal to your teammates because obviously everyone knows what's happening on the floor that they should go for the rebound and a guy like Jordan Rios who has developed himself into a hustle player into a potential scorer no nakita natin yung invitational i think this makes his job a lot easier having guys like Jolo Mendoza BNS from FEU even si G-Boy Gobu you know who can rebound the basketball and give you quality minutes sa tingin ko mas mapapaganda at mapapagan yung laro ni Rios and he makes both free throws one point lead na lamang para sa Jensen the white shirts on the offensive pass Sorella finishes with the left another guy who played well in their last game Sorella did one of five players also in double figures and did most of the damage in that third quarter kung saan humabot sila after being down by as much as 17 points and then humabo sila nung third quarter as Jensen forces a turnover they get up for maybe the last shot uh, four second five second differential here Pingoy to Reverente with we'll look at the turnover story here six to two and Reverente who as you mentioned earlier coach Christian did not shoot well from the outside in their previous game hits his first three pointer of this one that's a good sign no para uh, sa Jensen uh, let's see kung magre-react yung depensa sa kanya especially with that outside shot Jolo Mendoza short to beat the clock trying to break down his defender but he was just short on uh, that buzzer beater attempt itong uh, Jensen able to keep Rizal at bay but the Golden Coolers also responding with a run of their own. But the veterans of Coach Marlon really uh, being able to keep this five-point advantage at the end of the first. 19-14, to 14, we will be back for the second quarter.
will be seeing a more competitive Rizal Coolers team this season. Yan ang sinigurado ni Coach Jonathan Banal, one of the youngest coaches that we have dito sa ating liga. Their team, uh, bagong composition, bagong kultura, especially now that they have Troy Malili, Jolo Mendoza, and Brand Ray Bienes. So Jensen is a tough team to beat, but they still have to accept the challenge, and that is to defend well, maximize their run and gun, and learn to move the ball on the floor. Have you and Coach Christian? Thank you, Sheila. And you're right, uh, Coach Jonathan Banal really wanting to change the culture here in Rizal. Want to give them a culture of winning. As we see the first quarter field goal story here, 5 out of 20 para sa Rizal and 7 out of 16 for Jensen. Not a good start though. It's the second quarter as they try to move the ball. It was a 5 out offense. Pass and cut. But it ends up in a turnover. Jensen. Sunga gets a pick from Sorella. Sorella pops out. Can hit that shot but misses off to the left. Jensen gets the ball back. Reverente. That's an easy deuce for him. And I like the fact that the official didn't blow the whistle. It was a play on because it was a two on one advantage below the free throw already. Pero na ibawi gagan Rios on a semi-transition right there. Oh, that was good composure there by Bienes as he was being pressured by Reverente from the backcourt, finding Rios at the last moment. Sorella, momentarily open. Hands it off to Pinkway, but loses it to Charcos. He's telling his teammates to run. Transition defense is there for Jensan. Rios, top of the key. Derwin Guinto also makes his debut here para sa Rizal. Mendoza tries the finger roll and is clipped on the arm by Sorella. Showing that he's not only a shooter from the outside but can put the ball on the deck. Medyo, medyo binara pa nga siya dun eh, but he forced the issue on the second move as he was able to create contact and get to the line. Uh, co uh, Coach Jolo Mendoza, as we know, didn't really see a lot of playing time in his last season. The recently concluded UAAP season for the Atenea Blue Eagles. Thank God. <laughs> he he would have caused problems for us. <laughs> I we, thought. We all know this guy is a great offensive talent. He can hit shots. He's a scorer. Which he did, by the way, when we lost that opening game in the UAAP. He played well. I think he had eight or ten points couple outside shots when we went to his zone in that first half of the UAP. <laughs> Charcos right now. But you know, uh, ang nakikita ko dito kay Jolo Mendoza, coach, kind of uh, trying to carve out something like what Aaron Black did with his career, you know, coming out of college. Exactly. Also, was yeah. it uh, much in the rotation That's of Coach Tab in at, at Ateneo? And uh, use the MPBL as a stomping ground para magpabango ng pangalan. And look at where... <laughs> um, Aaron Black is now I mean sure people is always going to say at the back of their head he's playing for his father <laughs> but come on I it's, think it's a lot harder yeah ex exactly okay, I can't imagine their home if they're if they're living under one roof right but even so it, it is much harder to coach your own son at a let alone a high school level paano pa kaya sa sa professional level now, that's a great point no no Aaron Black same thing for go is Final year, um, he did very well here. Quezon City, Zamboanga, Zamboanga was a contending team. Quezon City was okay. But that's where you could say, you can make an argument, he was able to unleash his potential. Okay, Sorella reigns up a river to jumper. Six point lead by Jensen. Double screen set. By Rizal, Bienes is free from three. Tries to bank it in. Rios, another offensive rebound, but is denied by the interior defense of Jensen. Corner pass. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Feeling ko si Reverente nagulat din eh. And coach, uh, Jensen didn't really have much of the assists last game against Nueva Ecija, but right now that ball movement, that chemistry, especially in transition, has been doing wonders for them in this game as they erect an 8-point advantage. You know, Nueva Ecija 27, they, they did 
pretty good job with 21, but you look at this pass right here. I thought he was going to go for the corner pass because he had a wide open shot. Uh, talk about eyes at the side of your head. Sideline inbound here for the blue shirts. Caballero gets a screen from Ginto, the younger brother of San Miguel's Jerwin Ginto. As Victoria nails his first basket of the game. He was big in their last game. Uh, their first game against Sarangani, he had 24 points. 50% from the outside is Victoria. Well, now that uh, offensive load or that burden, he does not have to shoulder that alone as, you know, th with the entry of Jolo Mendoza, guys like Brandre Bienes also can contribute offensively. I'm sure Troy Malilen also raring to show what he can do on the court. It's just a... I, I think... This can turn out as a match made in heaven. What I mean by that is you have a young coach and young players. Anytime you have that combination, you, you know, both coaches and players have playing with, playing and performing with a chip on their shoulder, usually mas maganda yung naging resulta niyan. Baseline inbound here para sa Jensen. Still a six-point advantage that Rizal is staring at. Nakao play underneath J.O. John Orbeta. Instant offense. Kakapasa kulamang the former Sun One Knight. That's also part of the package when you have a young team. Yung mga ganyang lapses. Mangyayarit, mangyayarit talaga. Victoria against Orbeta. That's gonna count. Oh, wow. I thought it should have counted. But our referee is deciding not to give continuation on that layup by Victoria. Instead, as we look at this great baseline inbound play by Jensen. It wasn't. It was, <laughs> was it just really a lapse in the defense? Huh? Communication. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Dami. But, but I very appreciate you that you don't mince words on that, Coach. That is what we need here. <laughs> it, it was just a simple back screen. It, it wasn't like multiple actions. Usually, it creates confusion. It was an, the initial action on the first two seconds, on the five-second inbound play. Hindi lang nag usap and that's a mortal sin no, sa inbound. Lalong lalo na on the weak side we're in talagang libreng libre yung mangyayari so hindi misdirection ang nangyari miscommunication Miscom experience to be playing you know uh, for mga old school coaches i remember in my time played for coach Horacio Lim was really oh, yeah i did too <laughs> he's my first high school coach and he really very nice move the difference of being a rookie and an experienced player that was it pag salo ng bola pinalagpas muna yung defender we'll see it once again Terrific forward pass, as always, by Ant-Man. You see the stop on the diamond to catch. And then you pagpapanan bola to avoid the travel. Forces a timeout. Hey, Coach Jonathan. And now, uh, Jensen up by 12 points. 31 to 19, 5 and 16 remaining inside the second quarter. We will be right back after this time. And we're back here in the Caloocan Sports Complex in Caloocan City for the 2022 MBBL regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. Lawrence Victoria and the Golden Coolers down by 10 points. Sorry, 12 points rather. 31 to 19. Well, one thing that Rizal can take advantage as you see the turnovers, Rizal, lamang ng dalawa sa Jensen, is to get to the basket. Dahil penalty na itong uh, Jensen, but it ends up in a turnover. Numbers once again, he's gonna stop and pop for sure. 
Ooh, just trickles in, gets the right bounce. Mark Cruz, another basket. And that adds to the total of points off turnovers. Nitong Jensen who already has 14 after that three-pointer by Cruz. And that's one stat na ayaw nilang maduplicate uh, dahil ang dami nilang ginibop dyan nung last game. What a rebound by Reverente of the outside shot. And he's going to finish. Pero hindi, sinalubong na depensa. Thought he got a foul right there. Caballero, that shot rims out. Offensive rebound, recycled by Rizal. Still not able to capitalize. Baskets coming cold right here for the Golden Coolers. Cruz gets a screen from Sorella. Pakaniban off to the left. Good pass. And Reverente just misses that by a bit, but gets his own miss. Gusto, oh no, start padding. <laughs> kaya, kaya, yung mga magaling mag offensive rebound. Minsan kinagawa talaga nila yan. I'm just kidding. That's already... Hindi, hindi ganun si Don. <laughs> That's already rebound number 8 for Don Reverente to go with his 8 points. And we are just ending itong ating second quarter. So 3 and 21 left. Samantalang ito naman si Panganiban. Ang lakapuntos para si Jensen. The lead ballooning right now for the White Shirts. Issue in the last 3 minutes. Transition defense para sa Rizal. Pace has picked up. Whether intentional or not, it's really the shot selection ng Rizal. You know, one and done para sa Jensen. Give them credit. And it's off to the races. And coach, that's very ironic for Rizal to not have excellent transition defense or to not match itong running gun ng uh, Jensen because they are the younger legs between these two teams. Well, sometimes kasi your offense to defense can get discombobulated kapag yung shot selection or maybe unforced turnovers like that can be deflating. So, kita-kita, no? Again, this is on the top of the coverage. We mentioned, you know, the, the young names. Mendoza, Papasok Muli, a young coach. This is going to be a process for them as they continue to improve and develop themselves into a uh, into a strong team dito para sa, sa MPBL. Miss right there by Jensen and uh, possession will swing back para dito sa Rizal as they try to trim this now 20 point advantage it was a close game after the first period but Jensen just exerting their dominance here and putting their stamp on this game Cruz to Panganiban kicks it out and man for three that's a miss chance for Rizal Mendoza gets a familiar screen from Malilin. Pulls up. That is Cash. Jolo Mendoza, second basket of the ball game. Quick timeout. Ayo na bigyan ng momento. Ni Coach Marlon siguro. Screen right here by Malilin. Little step back hesitation by Jolo Mendoza. He can hit that shot any day if you give him that type of daylight. 39-21 is the count. Time out, time out, my dear. Okay, Alice. Masaya kapag may labay na ka ka isa. Luson bisayas mindanao basketball na. Cruz and the rest of the Jensen OK bet dominating this match. 18 point advantage para sa kanila against the much younger Rizal Golden Coolers. Oy. 
First time to come in, Rail Cervantes. First game as a Jensen Warrior. Sabay pa sila ni Parilyagas. And uh, the problem is rebound. <laughs> Panganiban gets the put back up and in. And the problems continue to mount para dito sa Rizal in the entry of Rail Cervantes and Parilyagas. Does it really help that? What a big boy rebound that was by a guard. Talk about Panganiban. He got the ball up in the air with two hands over a dark shirt. Well, that's also the advantage of uh, Jensen Martyrs team because their guards may be, you know, not really that tall, but yung mga wingmen nila, they have the height and they have the length to be able to compete on the glass. Orbeta has always been an athletic guard. Uh, small forward, rather. Real Cervantes, if he was in the best of shape, he could play the three as well because he has that threat from the outside. Condition siya nung ano eh? What was that? Season two or maybe season three? I think it was season two when he was playing for Manila. Yeah, but he looks to have uh, put on some weight here for sa... First game pa lamang niya dito sa ating MPBL regular season. So look to him to uh, get back into old form. Ang tawag dyan, PWD. <laughs> Pandemic weight development. <laughs> 41-23, 121 left in the first half. Pagandahan doon, hindi siya nag-iisa. <laughs> Both inside and outside the court, marami niya. <laughs> Buti na lang hindi ako nasama dyan. <laughs> Sige na. <laughs> Ikaw na, Habi. <laughs> Malilid. Right here for Rizal Capobres. Caldoza off the curl. Uy, Denied bye -bye. by Parilyagas. Cruz looks to push. Panganiban wants to settle. Orbeta to the cutting Parilyagas. That countless times in the Red Warriors uniform right now for the Jensen Warriors. Warriors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Golden State. <laughs> gets a screen from Cervantes. Cruz has thought of the three momentary, but Liagas misses a gimme. Mendoza, two on two break. Floater is up and in against the defense of Cervantes. Something he's been doing since high school. Score the basketball is Jolo Mendoza. They're going to need a lot of that, especially in the second half. And a lot of people were really expecting uh, Jolo Mendoza to be such a force in college as we dwindle down the moments. Dito sa ating second quarter, three seconds remaining. Capobres. With the heave and the score, Hail Mary answered by Capobres. That's going to count. And it happened right in front of us. Oh, this is close. This is close. Oh, oh wow, that is close. That's but very close. It really looked good to us initially. But that may nakita. That's close. But that good, that, 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 that's going to be hard to call by our referees. And it's also going to be a crucial one if they right. decide to count that shot because that will trim this 20-point uh, deficit that oh. is now at a score. What? Yeah, obviously it, it can start as a spark and they will have first possession in third quarter. Salvin Capobres looking to see if heaven will answer his prayers. And if the bank is still open at 5.54 p.m. See that once again. Point four, point two, point two. Ooh, parang hindi na. It was still in his hands when the clock read zero. Parang, you know? Oh. No, but that's so close. And that was really, it's, that's going to be unfortunate if it doesn't count. Oh, because, again, if it's not counted, okay, let's go. If it counts, 
and then they have first possession and, they, and let's say they hit a three on the first that you're talking about 14 points after being down 20 in the last minute and so see that once again 0. 0.6 0. 0.5 0. 0.4 oh that's close Ooh. that is so close that is very tough to call Parang yung isang count it. oh they yeah. count it yep yeah. Alvin Capobres getting the answer from the heavens. And the back big still open at 5.54 p.m. Jets and OK Bet Warriors leading this one by just 17 points right now. Who needs a replay when you have Javi Palanya right in front of it? <laughs> <laughs> Against Rizal Setramal, Golden Coolers, 45 to 28. We turn you over to Sheila Salaisai, who is with Don Reverente. Thanks, Javi. Hi, Don. Don, yung nakalaban yun on your three previous games, mabibigat yun, Bataan, Batangas, and Nueva Ecija. Pero ano ba sa team nyo yung naging factor na dinala nyo at natutunan nyo from those games na nagbibigay sa inyo ng labang at the first half? Ayun, kasi uh, ayun na nga, galing kami sa tatlong pagkatalo. Uh, mas nang gusto namin manalo nung, kahit nung first game namin, hanggang sa third game namin. Uh, yun, yun kasi kailangan namin bumawin ngayon. So, nagbibigay namin lahat para manalo ngayong gabi. Ano sa team mo yung dapat nyo bang gawin para masustain itong kalamangan nyo para maiuwi yung first win? Uh, siguro yung bibigay namin yung 100% uh, intensity namin sa game, yung effort uh, para sa team. Tsaka stick kami sa place nila, Coach Marlon. Maraming salamat. Uh, that... Thank you. Uh, pwede pa lang, uh, gusto ko lang pala pasalamatan si uh, OK Bet, tsaka si Jinky Skin and kay Boss Manny. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Don Reverente. You'll see more of uh, the guys of Coach Marlon Martin, of course, and Coach Jonathan Banal when we uh, come back from a break.
sumasaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luton, Visayas, Mindanao, Basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung bayan di ang magpahakan Todo sumbota ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang tutulang And we are here at halftime. Dito said, OK Bet 2022 MPBL regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances where Jensan, OK Bet Warriors are leading by 17 points against Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers 45 to 28. And here are your highlights from that first half. In the first quarter, Jensan was off to a good start, hitting their outside shots led by Mark Cruz and going in transition Troy Malilin debuting here for the Golden Coolers together with Jolo Mendoza but the firepower and the veteran experience nitong Warriors ang, nang, ang nangibabaw talaga in that first half well okay pa to nung first quarter they were only down by 5 no 19 to 14 but the second quarter was a different story uh, you see Sorella with the basket right there and a big part of that is this guy that you see on your screens right here eight points almost a double double para sa kanya had 10 rebounds this was the stop and pop a la Kawhi Leonard that bounce on the ring and um, by, by uh, Mark Cruz but that second quarter really to me was more of the shot selection ng, ng uh, Rizal I thought they had hurried shots which translated into the first pass of a fast break, which we saw a lot, no? Para sa Jensan, you see the numbers right here, 46 to 28 percent. You look at the attempts, plus six ang Jensan. No, you look at the offensive rebound story, it's only six to five Jensan. 
And that's because of the turnovers. Ang turnovers nitong uh, Rizal is 12 to 8. At ang naging kapalit nun ay yung points of turnovers dahil mas marami nilang beses pinamigay ang bola. At karamihan dyan, fast break. How many times did we see in the first half those uncontested layups, easy baskets? And even if it was a miss, there, were, there was another white shirt either trailing or was ready for the stick back. Second chance points, 11 to 4. Anytime you get you get uh, you you lose those categories, it's really a recipe for disaster. Nico Panganiban and Mark Cruz leading the Warriors with nine points at least. Don Reverente with eight to go with his ten rebounds, and John Orbeta with six. On the other side is Jolo Mendoza leading the pack for the Golden Coolers. Eto nakita nga natin Panganiban ang ganda rin ng effort niya. No Reverente, sure nang ibabaw lang siya because of his rebounding, but Mark Cruz. Also, with his distribution, had six assists. And Panganiban, off the bench, ang ganda ng spark niya, no? naramdaman ka agad natin yung energy. It, it, it also felt like they didn't run a play for him. So yung, yung nine points na, na i-contribute niya for Jen San, those, are, those came off offensive rebounds or finishes on fast breaks. And I'm sure Coach Marlon's very pleased with the way his squad performed in that first half. And then again, the question for them is, can they sustain it? This third quarter will be very crucial for both teams. Rizal looking to cut this deficit. And Jensan looking to sustain their dominance in this match against the Golden Coolers. And they start off the third quarter with a zone. Talk about the defense of Rizal. And also a different five. And also... Something different that we're seeing today. Reverente not known as a three-point shooter. Pangalawa na yan, ng laro. And I don't think he's missed from the outside today. Two out of two from right. three-point country. That set shot. And I, I correct myself, Javi. You know, first possession of the third starts with Jensen, not Rizal. So that Hail Mary by Capobres to end the first half, which Pinawi was counted. Agad. Pinawi Agad. Idon Reverente. Corner pass right there. Reverente with the score. Very typical for a team to attack the corners every time against the zone. And that's what happened in the first possession para sa Jensan. And they forced a turnover so they could extend this lead. And the shot selection woes continuing para dito sa Golden Coolers. The defense of Jensen really making it hard for the blue shirts to get any decent look at the basket. Cruz drives to the teeth of the defense. Bilin Sean with a hand in his face. Looks to be a foul on Rios. Yeah, I don't think he had any chance of coloring that rebound against a much taller Marlon Gomez. Gomez had better position on that one. Exactly. And Marlon Gomez, I've always been a fan of this game because he plays bigger than his size. But you talk about a guy who can play big. Whether close game or not, yung jump shot yan, 10 years ago, same pa rin, ang taas pa rin. JB Balanson with that three-pointer. Yung Rizal na pa ako na sa 28, hasn't scored yet. But uh, J-Boy Gob will change that narrative. Two points para kay Gob. Gets the ball inside, misses the first one, sticks with it. And what's important there is that hindi niya pinaba yung bola on the second chance. Gob is trying to attack the long closeout. Gets another opportunity from the safe spot that is way short and reverente. With rebound number 11 here. And he will troop to our 15-foot parallel for two shots. That's miscommunication once again. You see the chemistry woes for Rizal as they still you know, try to become one. That time, one player thought they were in a zone. Another thought they were man-to-man. Kaya na libre sa corner. Nagmintis man, reverente right there. Picks up the air ball. This is the first. In this zone, the defense coach will be really very tricky for Rizal as they try to force Jensen into those outside shots which Belenchon and Reverente made them pay for. But yung rebounding nga ang nagiging problema dito because as you know, coach, it's doubly hard for you to get 
the defensive rebound when you're in the zone defense. Capobres with a jumper, much needed basket for the Golden Coolers. That's probably the best play they ran so far that ended up with a nice uh, looking jump shot. Hey, Capobres. Chad coming off the staggered screens. So that's his on him the defense. Belin Sean, rise, fire, score. I don't know what's prettier, yung shot fake or yung step back. Parehas maganda. He has really done a terrific job of staying in shape despite all these years. And another turnover right here, para sa Rizal. Look, see that replay. Look at where he gets the ball, Javi. And look where he ends up. From the right elbow to the left elbow, taking one dribble. That is just excellent skill and footwork by the veteran. Reverente up top. Chad. They try to locate Cruz as we look at the three-point field goal story in this game. Six out of 19 for Jensan and a woeful two out of 20 para Sarizal. Alam naman natin, Bienes, Mendoza, Rios, Capobres, they can all shoot the basketball. Again, it's just a matter of when to shoot if it's the best available shot. Also, this guy, si Victoria, as he knocks down the third three-pointer. So they get the stop, they, they, and then they make the basket. Tingnan natin kung may momentum dun. Five points now in the game. Para dito kay Victoria. Gomez tries to attack the post defense of J-Boy Gob. It's good thing. Bienes, nagdadala ng bola dito. Oh, Victoria, excellent pass right there. And the patience by Capobres to get that shot up and in. At the time out po dito ang Jensen as Rizal. Nagbabalak dito with a run. Inside pass right there by Victoria to Capobres for the deuce. Score is 54 to 37. We will be right back after this timeout. Ang bawang bayan ay sumasaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa We're back here in the 2022 uh, MPBL regular season. Don Reverente has just been all over the place in this one. 11 points and 11 rebounds. We're just in the third quarter, coach. Well, this is no surprise to any MPBL fan, especially a guy like Reverente. Muntin lupa palang. And I, I think the most satisfying feeling. You know, of uh, following a guy like Reverente since season one in this league, we're in season four, is how he has developed into his own. No unang season yan sa Muntin Lupa, hindi ginagamit, alus third stringer. But he stuck with it, he kept working hard until nasa second unit na siya, until naging starter na siya, and until naging main guy na siya sa Pasay, para dito sa former coach siya. But the momentum right now. Clearly on the side on Rizal, only a 15-point game after that transition jumper by Jolo Mendoza. Seven, nine points now in the game as we look at fast break points. 15 to 6 for Jensen, a bulk of those in that first half. Melinchon, his fellow Letran alumni, Mark Cruz, who draws the foul against the debuting Jolo Mendoza. Quickly to acknowledge is Jolo Mendoza. Alam niya na isahan siya ron ni Mark Cruz. Welcome to the MPBL, Mr. Mendoza. And uh, Charcos will give him a spell. Ang hirap gawin niya na. 
the, the time you put in para mapabraids way buhok mo. <laughs> Akala ko naman yung shot fake yung mahirap ko. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo naman ako, magdating sa buhok, unang nakakapuna. <laughs> Maganda lang ako na makapuna eh, kaysa maunahan pa ako. <laughs> Mark Cruz, three free throws for him. Swishes the first. And Mark Cruz, <laughs> you know, the brother, the former UP fighting Maroon, actually a legend. Marvin, yeah. Marvin Cruz also played for Granny Goose in the PBL, I remember. You played against him, coach. I did. He was a headache, especially when I was bringing the ball for our team. <laughs> yeah, Sheila Salaysay has a report for us on the sideline. Sheila? Yeah, though, though it's unfavorable for the first two quarters para sa Golden Coolers adjustments are being made. Binigyan ni Coach Don Uro, hindi sila dapat in love sa three points. It should be their strengths. They did a lot of attempts, but only two out of 19. Apparently not working at this time. Their solution is to keep on attacking and find the open man. Happy? Thank you for that, Sheila. And it is looking to be their strength right now as Brandre Bienes moving screen. It's a three-pointer and on the other end, the Rizal Golden Cooler is forcing an offensive foul turnover as we see that excellent kick out by Capobres to a wide open Brand Ray Venice. Catch, fire, splash. Just better energy and better patience, no? Yung pinapakita ng Rizal as you get the three point field goals. And a nice play once again. A lot, this has been the difference. The first five minutes of the third quarter, 11 points for Capobres. The difference has been execution, getting easy baskets, whether in the half court or in the full court. No first half, hindi natin nakita yan sa Rizal. Belichon trying to settle his troops right here. Capobres challenging that three, but no problem. Para dito kay JP Belichon, he has been waxing hot in this third quarter. And if you're Capobres, you don't want to overreact. I know that's his second three. Pero the last thing that you want is maramdaman ng offensive player. Ang ganda ng bawi ni Bienes. Maramdaman ng offensive player na parang napabilib ka dun sa tira na yun. Eight points now in the game for the former FU Tamara of Randre Bienes. Because I tell you, I met his father. I did not play, let me make that clear, <laughs> with his father. But I met his father sa mga recreational leagues. Anytime may mga player na ganyan, defensively, because his father, Danny Capobles, was really known as a bruiser. As you see, Bienes once again. Ang ganda ng momentum talaga ng Rizal. This is down to single digits, nine points na lang. And Sorella successfully locating Reverente for the score underneath. Tries to restore a little bit of order here. Victoria, nagmamadali. Gob! Ooh, this is a gimme right there. Cruz in transition. Belenchon, enough daylight, but passes off at the last minute to Mikol Sorella. San Medellin rivalry, not obvious on that one as they connect for that basket to give their squad a 13 point advantage. Let's look at that once again. Oh, this is a four point swing. They miss an easy one on the other end. Sorella gets it back on the other. Forces a timeout to coach Jonathan Banal of Rizal. 62-49 is our score. We will be back after this. Yeah, we'll be Back here at the Caloacan Sports Complex in Caloacan City at the edge of the Metro. The Rizal Golden Coolers going on a run. But right away, Jensan pushing the lead back to double digits. Now a 13-point advantage once again para sa kanila. 
But a new unit on the floor here as Jerry Pingoy in Magalang checks into the game. See, see the assist story, 18 to 15 plus 3 for Jensa. Malilin and Ginto are also back into this game. Kapobres against Panganiban. Met by two defenders. Charcos. Just long on the three pointer. Panganiban sprawls on the floor against three Rizal Golden Coolers. And a held ball will be called by our referees. Uh, both teams. You can just see, no, kung gaano ka importante sa kanila yung larong ito. Obviously, momentum shifting itong quarter in favor of Rizal, pero sumagot itong last minute. Itong uh, Jensen after the lead was trimmed to single digits, nasa 13 na ulit. But those are the type of plays that helps you sustain yung mga, yung mga lead mo, no? And Panganiban, because of that play, will be rewarded with two free throws dahil penalty na itong Rizal. Oh, so I uh, stand corrected. It is not a jump ball, but it was a foul. A loose ball foul. Panganiban misses his first charity. That wasn't a ball don't lie situation. Foul talaga yan. <laughs> Panganiban will try to get that one back on this second. Ooh, that short. Or maybe it was. <laughs> that is his second zero out of two trip from the charity stripe. And possession will swing back quickly. Dito sa Rizal. And that was started by Rashid Wallace, who is rumored to be our assistant coach. How do you think For of that purple coach? And gold. I love it. <laughs> I love it. First time assistant coach. I, I, first time. I head can coach imagine. I can imagine Rashid getting in LeBron's ear. <laughs> I think that was the main reason why they got him. Maybe, maybe not, but I think it's bound to happen. Gotta keep have some defense, yeah, Ron. Gotta have <laughs> someone to uh, you know keep the king in check. Or maybe Westbrook. <laughs> Aguinto now uh, at the line on the opposite end of the floor. Rims out on his first try. Ginto also uh, part of that uh, last PBA draft, but wasn't able to get a contract. Now spreading his wares here, did sa PBL. Pasok sa dito eh sa Rizal, si Ginto sa Golden Coolers. <laughs> Galing matalaga dito, coach. Saying <laughs> pasok na eh, pasok na pasok. And uh, Rizal will get an opportunity from the baseline. Malilin against the veteran Cervantes. Malakas. Mamadali dito ang Warriors. Bigoy tells his teammates, let's play this out. Si Masag lang, I tell you, pag nakatanggap to sa catch and shoot, sa ano situation, titira yan. Sabi niya ng halftime, di pa ako nakatama, coach. <laughs> Tapos, practice siya ng practice ng jump shot. Caldozo, a little bit out of control right there. Oh, there will be a loose ball foul, and that will go against Rizal. So, medyo naputol yung momentum dito, no, ng Rizal. You know, we always hear people say finishing out quarters, importante. And it, it, it carry off, carries off yung momentum, especially if you're trying to come back from a 20-point deficit. Pero mabigat dito. Penalty nga itong Rizal. Tignan natin kung uh, may hinto na ni Rail yung uh, dalawang sunod na mintis ni Panganiba nung huli. Well, this second unit of Jensen has done a wonderful job of keeping Rizal at bay after the wonderful effort made by their starters to restore order back and to push the lead back into double digits. A reverente, not Cervantes, will be the shooter at the free throw line. Misses on the first one. Coach Jonathan Banal, a look of concern and frustration on his face right now. Four straight free throws missed by Jensen. 
Let's see if Rizal can take advantage. Charcos. Nagtitimon dito para sa Golden Coolers. Gets a screen from Malilin. Charcos didn't hit anything there but the backboard. Masagla. Higoy trying to look for Cervantes at the post. Against Caldozo. Tanganiba sidestep. Draws the foul. We got him on the first step was Panganiban. Too much of a straight line drive. Right there, a little mismatch foot speed wise against Malilim. Secondary defender comes over. Sirios contact definitely. He got the ball but also got a little bit of the body and the arm. And another missed free throw. This is the third straight. Para kay Panganiban in the fifth straight for their squad as we look at the free throws in this quarter. Two out of ten lamang ang Jensan. And this is a big thing because this lead could have been even bigger had they made a majority of those shots. Caldozo sees an opening in the defense, doesn't get that much. Rios fade away. That was a bad shot. Recycle for Rizal. Charcos. Still no go. And Reverente collars the board. Panganiban ma'atake. Left hand finish. Para kay Panganiban. Uh, everybody was on, was in the paint fighting for offensive rebounds. And that was a beautiful outlet pass that led to a fast break. To a beautiful finish with the offhand was Panganiban. The energy that we saw here from Rizal at the middle of this quarter is not gone. And Jensen has been able to capitalize. Caldozo is fouled on the drive. 12.5 seconds ang nalalabi dito sa ating third quarter. Oh, Cervantes is the culprit right there. Still hasn't made a dent on this game. His debut dito sa ating uh, FPBL regular season. Of course, a very much uh, reliable scorer in the post and on the outside. Especially in these days with the FEU Tamarau, that was a, such a powerhouse team. That JR Kawali, Ol Sanga. I think Jeff Chan was Jeff. there. Yeah. 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 Another rebound and score. Rebound number 16. Was it a rebound? Was it not a pass? I, I, I'm, I'm serious. It was a rebound, coach. It was a rebound. Let's see okay, that again. Let's see. Ah, yeah, no, that's apal. Eh. That's apal. Tama. And that clearly was going to count. So this, this is going to go to is that Malilin? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Reverente has just been dominating in this game, but this guy, JP Belenson, has been all fire in this third quarter. Nine points in this period. Lahat ng uh, tinira niya, literal, fire din. Dahil ang hihirap ng mga tira niya. And uh, obviously, a big part kung bakit yung kalamangan nila. Ganito pa rin kahit na naibaba nila nang siyang papasok. Sa fourth quarter, lamang pa rin ng 18, itong Jensen. We will be bringing you the final quarter. Huwag kayong alis mga kaibigan. Kapag may labay na kakaisa, luson bisayas, mindanao, basketball na. Ang bawat labay din naghandaan, kaya yung maya ni gang papakan. Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya kanyang kubunan. Back here 
for the OK Bet 2022 MPBL regular season. We are live on the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League Facebook page. Fourth quarter na po tayo kay mga kaibigan. Rizal Golden Coolers going up against the Jensan OK Bet Warriors. Quarter scoring right there on your screens. Medyo pantay lang on that third quarter but obviously Jensan with that big lead at the half still controls the game. The first five minutes of the third was owned by Rizal but able to regroup and adjust against that zone which Rizal started off was the last five minutes by Jensan. A big part of it is that guy, the one who just missed, Panganiban, double figures once again sa larong ito just like in the last game. He has a dozen. Panganiban has had his way driving to the basket. Exactly. You know, the closeouts of Rizal haven't been really good, but Kapobres able to get that floater. But going back to my point, Panganiban, you know, the perimeter defense of Rizal has been really a problem for them, especially in that third quarter. Toto, yeah, no, as good as they they are offensively, Kapobres also a guy in double figures as Cervantes continues, I believe, to be scoreless. Mendoza kicks it out to Capobres. And Victoria hasn't been his usual self in this game. Just five points. Going up against Jerry Pingoy. Draws a foul. Great read right there by Victoria for a while. It was a deceptive move because on the switch, guard to guard switch between him and Capobres, Pinakita niya na pupunta sa poste. And then in attack niya bigla yung gitna. Kaya nag-end up siya ngayon sa line. 16 point lead being held here by the Warriors. Again, both teams looking for that elusive first win. Jensan winless in three games. You know, itong Rizal lost their first match. This is only their second game of this regular season. So you could really see na you know, relatively, mas mahalaga itong panalo para sa Jensad because they have already played three games and still winless. Totoo yan, no? Still a young season, but, you know, any coach you would ask, gusto mo makapuhunan ka na maaga pa lang. And it's gonna be hard for them, really, to contend being down 0-4. Let's see if they can close this one out. Another drive to the basket by Panganiban, but a miss that time. Mendoza, pull-up jumper, rims out. That's a foul against Jensen. That's why you want your bigs to continue to run, even at times when it's an obvious layup, because you never know. That's usually a layup-like shot para kay Mendoza, pero nagbintis, Benitez, with the effort, gets the extra possession. Solomon does has nine points in this game. Kapobres short on the jumper. And Masaglang at the controls right here para si Jensan. Directing traffic. Mondragon offers the roadblock. Reverente free from three. That's his first miss from rainbow distance in this game. But a foul will be called on the rebound sequence. It will be on Bienes. Now, Bienes had a lot of points in that third quarter. Fizzled out during the end. Reverente offensive rebound denied by Capobres. Not good defensive possessions. The last two ones, no? Para sa result giving up open looks and almost giving up an offensive rebound and Kaya coach, multiple looks though itong Jensen and coach another baseline inbound in kamunti ka na ulit na makakuha na bola no? si Kap si Panganiban off that back screen masagla against Victoria Trying to get his way out of the defense, that's a forced shot. Well, he had to heave it up. 
Capobres challenging the defense of Mondragon. Just a little bit short on that one. Victoria recycles. Another opportunity here for the Golden Coolers. I thought Capobres had a good look right there. It sent to the end of it a turnover and an easy two on the other end. Walk in the park. Para kay Masagla. That's his first two points of this game. One of the homegrown players, Nitong Jensan, averaging 5.7 points per game. Palpal yung Mondragon, si Benitez. Ganda ng pasa. Oh, Jensan had all the right motives of pushing the basketball, having the advantage on the numbers as Jolo Mendoza was just left. See that once again. This is the walk in the park for Masaglang. And this is the great pass by Reverente. Three on two break finished beautifully by Jensan. 71 53. We will be back after this timeout. Roy Malilin and the rest of the Rizal Golden Coolers still having difficulty against itong Jensan OK Bet Warriors as the white shirts leading by 18 points with 6 minutes and 30 seconds remaining dito sa ating laro yung katawan ni Reverente parang drawing eh no? galit eh I wonder why he has almost 20 rebounds. The intimidation factor. Eh. And uh, that also means, coach, that it's not always, you know, being tall. Being tall or having the most talent. Correct. If you are in shape, you could also make a difference in Correct. the game. Correct. I mean, you look at Reverende, obviously not the tallest guy in the league in this game. Mas maraming malalaki ang katawan, mas matatangkad. And we've seen it all over, no, in all levels. It's always a misconception. Pero Reverente, an example that rebounding is all about desire and effort. As you see this basket right here, a much needed one for Rizal. Does Rizal have enough time to counter this deficit? Mark Cruz, Pinasok now lit. Nice baseline against Bienes. That is a 24 second shot clock violation whistle on the Warriors. That's from one letra night to another. Okay, ibang generation lang. There are three letra nights on that uh, Jensen Warriors squad. Of course, JP Valenzon being the other one. Right. Reminds me a lot of Mael Huinho, if you remember. You don't? There you go. Doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> I'm Asabaya. sorry. Asabaya ni Ron Jane, really. Yun ang mas mataas jumam shot. Kay, uh, kay uh, JB Belenchon. Nagpa follow up tank yun sa game. Reverente missing on the layup. Victoria and Kamadale. A duty foul right there given up by Cruz. The coach on the opposite offensive end. Another straight line drive by Reverente just missed on the layup. Dere derecho na naman, no? So, I'm sure that's one thing you have to see. Coach Jonathan Banal, no, not only the individual defense, but also the health defense. Malilin, short on the hook shot. Only two points in this game, but he does have nine rebounds. He'll have more than enough time to sharpen his offensive game here for Coach Jonathan Banal. Mark 20 na. 20 rebounds. For the very hard-working, very energetic Don Reverente as Mondragon na ingit joins in on the part. Ako naman, panayigaw eh. 
everybody wants to have a share of the spotlight. But definitely the brightest lights are underneath Itong Jets and OK Bet Warriors as they are up comfortably with 424 left, 73 to 57. But Kapobres still trying to will his team back into this game and one opportunity para sa kanya. Well, Alvin has had a solid game, especially in that third quarter. He really came to life after pretty much a struggle in the first half in double figures already and he complete, com completes rather this 2 plus 1 special 16 points na para sa kanya. John Orbeta just short on the finger roll. Si Orbeta, he lost the step itong last, itong pandemia. That's not how I remember him. He used to play above the rim the whole game. Yeah, I remember he used to be very explosive. Lumilipad yan, lalo na in transition. Ang hirap sa bayan. And another miscue on the defensive end. And Jolo Mendoza just really frustrated with that error. 10 points, 9 assists. Para kay Mark Cruz. He can join in the double double party kasama si Reverente with one more assist. Sunga trying to bait the defense right there. Bienes up top. Hands it off to Capobres. Sunga defense. Malilin. Good pass. Mendoza, he had a shot earlier. This time, a three-pointer from the left corner. Cuts the lead to just 12. Jolo Mendoza starting to catch fire here. Great extra pass. Galing kay Brandre Bienes to Jolo Mendoza. 75 to 63 ang score mga kay BNB. We'll be right back after this time. And we are here back at the Caloacan Sports Complex in Caloacan City. The crowd starting to come in as uh, we have three games in store for you today. This is our first one. Look at uh, Chris Bitoon. Still, uh, I believe, still won't suit up uh, for the Nueva Ecija Rice Packers yeah. in their game against Magati Manlik. Look at the, the numbers. Hindi po kayo na mamalik matatama ba Marami po yung rebound sa points. Fantasy stud right there. Yung 15 points, mahir mahirap na nga kunin yun sa MPBL. Dos tres pa yun. Pwede pa maging 4 yun kung 4 point play. Yung rebounds, isa-isa lang yan. Binabangga ka pa. And he's doing that against very athletic big men. Uh, Troy Malilin, there's also Mark Benitez as Masaglang picks the pocket of Jolo Mendoza. That's another turnover para dito kay Jolo. Bigat. It has been a hot and cold debut for him. Ayun na naman. Ooh, but excellent block right there. Chase down by Malilin to prevent the easy two points. And Coach, I remember uh, when we were still in high school, there were a lot of players like that na yung matatakot ka talaga na magdala ng bola. And Jerry Pigoy was one of them. Buti na lang he was playing, my teammate. Tama, yung high school tayo, you know? High school. I'll join the party. <laughs> and in college, I remember Eric Salamat, talagang uh, the king of steel. Oh, ano yan? Galing ba sa rin yan, high school? Uh, Marlon Gomez. Nakasama pa namin sa Canada yan nung uh, nagkaroon ng yung Canada invasion natin si Eric Salamat. He was with 
Sambuanga, I believe, but not as a player, as an assistant coach. Oh, okay, that's interesting. But I think now uh, he is with Imus as a player. As a player, that's good. So, manager na lang yung ano niya. <laughs> the checklist. If you're watching Eric. Another year. I think he was part of that fight. Five. So hindi lang si Justin Chua at si Ryan yun. Yeah, I believe so. Uh. If I'm, if my memory is right, uh, I do not have the best of memories. So please uh, bear with me. Kapobres is at the post, but uh, time starting to dwindle here sa ating laro. Under two minutes remaining. 15-point lead being held by the Warriors. And that makes it doubtful para dito sa Rizal to get back into this game. Time is definitely not on their side. Warriors will play the clock here. Reverente, despite Malilin in his face, attempting a three offensive rebound by the smallest man on the floor. Once again, getting another possession for them. And that has been the story of the game, Coach Christian. Yung effort sa rebounding, no? Obviously, itong uh, pinakita ni Reverente playing a big part of it. 50 to 43. That's a plus 7. Obviously, yung kalapan nitong Rizal. But nakagandahan kasi dito kay Reverente. May bantay man o wala, talagang magka-crush ng boards. Masagla. Cruz from the perimeter. Tries to beat the buzzer but is short. 58 seconds na lang na lalabi dito sa ating laro. Malilin, athletic finish. More of garbage time right there. That's still a 13-point advantage para dito sa Warriors. Rios gets the steal. Vienes It's twice about the three. And turnover. Number 17 for the Golden Coolers. I thought Vienes had a good look. And that was a very makeable shot from him. And Jensan looks primed to get their first win in four games in our very young OK Bet 2022 MPBL season and Marlon Gomez just putting on the cherry on top of the ice cream. Bata! <laughs> Welcome! Minama ni, Mar ni Marlon. I'm sure these new guys for Rizal have a lot of introspection to do but expect these guys to bounce back. And ito na nga, mga kaibigan, it is now official. The Jensen OK Bet Warriors from the hometown of our league founder, Senator Manny Pacquiao, winning their first match dito sa ating 2022 MBBL regular season against the still winless Rizal Golden Coolers, 80-67. You know, despite Rizal going on some runs during this game, Jensan kept their poise and still held themselves for the victory. Well, at least nakita ni Coach Jonathan Banal yung, yung kuponan niya, no, of what, yung potential. No, baga, because, ang maganda dito is that they try to fight back, especially in the first five minutes of that third quarter. That's a good sign for a young team. It's, it's just hard to go against guys like Reverente, Panganiban, Mark Cruz, who was one assist shy of a double-double. And Reverente, as always, this was business as usual with a cherry on top of his ice cream. <laughs> and that spectacular player is with our Miss Sheila Salaysay at courtside. Sheila? Yes, thanks, Javi. Best player of the game, walang iba si Don Reverente. Of course, Don, for uh, the first half, kontrolado nyo yung laro. Pag tugtong ng third quarter, medyo nag-shift yung momentum ng kaunti sa kabilang team. Dalin mo kami sa parte ng game na yun. Hmm? Sa third quarter, medyo 
ayun medyo siguro uh, kasi nag ano kami nagro-rotate eh. so yun uh, kailangan lang namin talaga communication sa loob tsaka yung 100% effort sa offense defense at yun nga ang nagbigay sa inyo ng una niyong panalo at uh, with your numbers 20 points at uh, 21 rebounds 15 points double double sabi nila no fear ka anong masasabi mo dito ayun uh, uh, unang una sa lahat kasi Okay, Papa Gajon, sa, sa family ko, especially sa uh, Jensen fans and Jensen family. Meron ka bang gustong pasalamatan? Uh, gust Unang-una sa lahat, gusto magpasalamat kay Lord God and sa Jensen family, sa management namin, kay Boss Manny and Jinky Skin, Okay Vet, and gusto ko lang din batiin yung family ko na nasa Las Piñas and family ng misis ko na sa Cavite and Lahat ng taga sa Las Piñas, binabati ko kayo. Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. Congratulations, our best player of the game, Don Reverente. Back to you, Javi and Coach Christian. Uh, thank you so much, Sheila. That was once again our best player of the game, Don Reverente. Congrats to the Jensen OK Bet Warriors for winning their first game here sa 2022 MPBL regular season. First game pa lamang yan, mga kaibigan. Up next, the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards will go up against Makati Manila Kingpin in our second game. We will be right back with that match. Stay tuned.